Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that win? I'm feeling really good. Feeling, you know, happy. Uh, glad I got that win. Uh, I mean, nothing I, I didn't expect. I came in here. I wouldn't have taken the fight if I didn't think I was going to win. What did you expect from that fight? Because, you know, everybody goes in with a game plan or an idea of how they'd like to see the fight go. How did it actually go in there for you compared to what you thought it would? Um, it was kind of like almost the total opposite of what I thought. I was going to go in there, wrestle, work for submissions, take them down a couple times each round, uh, ride them out. But uh, obviously the, the first round I went in there, I took them down, I controlled them, uh, got my whatever, four minutes and 45 seconds control time, kind of warm out a little bit. And then in the second and third round, we came out and we were just throwing hands, letting the punches go and, you know, eating some shots, but nothing really hurt me or, or surprised me. And I was able to drop them in the second. I thought I was going to capitalize on that and be able to walk out with a finish. I think I got a little bit overzealous really quick. Um, so in the future, try to stay away from that. But overall, I think it was pretty good. What did you think of your opponent overall? I thought he was tough. I mean, he ate some some good shots. I'm, I was surprised he was able to recover from that that drop in the second round so so quickly. But um, I mean, I, I was able to take him down in the first round, and, and that's kind of what I expected. I didn't think he was going to be uh, – ready for my grappling on top, and, and I thought I was going to be able to overwhelm him, and I knew my cardio wasn't going to be an issue for uh, this fight, and I knew that was going to kind of throw him off, me coming in on four days' notice, and uh, I think he thought it was going to be almost like a walk in the park. Can you talk to me a little bit about that call you got? You know, wh when did you get it? What were you doing? Did you hesitate taking the fight, any of that? Uh, so Saturday night, it was like about 10 o'clock. Uh, I got a text from my manager, and, uh, you know, he, he told me about it, and I was like, Without hesitation, really, I think within like 10 or 20 minutes, we, I said yes to the fight. I mean, this was a, a matchup I think I was looking at for a while. I thought I was going to maybe fight him after he beat Connor back in, in March because that's a common opponent for both of us. But um, after I said yes, we really didn't hear anything back until Tuesday. I signed the contract on Tuesday, flew out Tuesday night, and uh, got to work today. Is this the first time you've taken a fight that short of notice? Yeah, yeah, first time. Did you did you like that over maybe going six weeks, you know, training and thinking about somebody and thinking about a fight and maybe overthinking over training versus taking something on short notice? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did like it. I think it was it was pretty, I guess, not more fun, but uh, it was pretty cool, you know, just training hard with the guys and, and everything and just, you know, staying in shape. And I knew this opportunity was going to come. I didn't know it was going to be this week, but I kind of knew I was most likely in a short notice spot. So... Whenever that popped up, I was going to be ready. Uh, so I think it mentally it's not wearing on you for eight weeks thinking about the fight. But, um, I mean, I think it is definitely better to game plan for a guy and be able to, you know, work that for eight to ten weeks or however long. So, But overall, it was a good experience, first one. And, uh, you know, going into the fight, coming off of losses, was there extra pressure or was there a little bit of relief knowing, hey, I've done them a favor, you know, maybe if I you know, lose this fight or don't perform well, they'll give me another shot? Or was there... Was it kind of a do-or-die situation in there? It, it was definitely a do-or-die situation in there. Um, but I had the confidence. I, I knew if I lost this fight, uh, my UFC career right now was probably going to be over. So I was going to have to fight back to get back in here. But um, with that pressure, I knew I kind of uh, honed it in, was able to come in here and, and perform. You know, I trained with the, the best guys in the world on an American top team. So they got me confident enough they got me ready enough for when a short notice opportunity would present itself or when a fight would present itself that I'd be you know against anyone in my spot in the division that I'll be ready for and what's next for you when would you like to fight again or do you have an opponent in mind no opponent in mind I mean I would love to fight again before the end of the year I know UFC is going to Tampa in uh, December so that's something that would be super exciting super fun I think get back in the arena back in front of the crowd uh, so hopefully we could see what's going on with that Thank you. Thank you. Francis, uh, how important was it to kind of maintain your composure after you knocked him down? Because we see a lot, right? Like somebody will knock a fight or their opponent down, they recover, and then it kind of like plays a little mental game for them. Uh, I think it, it was important to keep the composure, not try to like beat myself up to think like, uh, you know, I should have finished him there and like I blow my load and, and now I'm, I'm going to lose the rest of the second round and the third round because, you know, I just wore out trying to finish him there. So it's just, you know, drop him, try to finish him. I knew I wasn't getting the finish once he tied me up and, and his back was against the fence. I didn't have enough enough room to work elbows or punches really. And, and he did good. He recovered quick. He was able to get back up to his feet and uh, kind of get a reset. So I think just keeping the composure is very important instead of just trying to jump on him and, and you know, sprint to finish. 
And the, the fight was close at times. But were you surprised that it was a split decision? I was, I was very surprised. I thought, uh, I thought at least I won 29-28. I mean, I, I controlled the whole first round, five minutes of it. Second round, I, I dropped him in the beginning. But I guess some of the judges forgot that. Um, they kind of just scored the last minute of it, which none of his shots really rocked me or wobbled me or anything. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was definitely surprised by that. And is there any sort of small frustration with that? Like, all right, now I got to go back and kind of, in a way, see where the judges might have been because, you know, a little bit closer, maybe it goes the other way. And I'm sure you would have been shocked if that would have happened. Yeah, I mean, I guess um, not frustration because, you know, you see bad calls all the time. Every week you see, you know, bad judgment. So that's just something that's out of my control that, you know, maybe next time I have to do better at winning the rest of that round. If, you know, knock them down, you don't finish, do a better job of, of closing it out. So ultimately that's, that's on me of not keeping the pressure and, and closing that round out that they would give it to them. Um, but I just think I still won that round. Thank you. Thank you.